All right, let's take a look at the study guide real quick. If you go to the modules, you will find that after chapter four, there's a module here that says unit one exam, chapters one, two, three, and four. The study guide is here. We're going to click on that in a second. But also the unit one exam, the multiple choice, the essays, and the IDs. Okay, so those three things are there. And the due dates are published right next to them. Let's take a look at the study guide real quick. So click on that and it'll open. And uh, you can either download it or take a look at it. We're just going to take a look at it from here. The uh, study guide tells you that this comes through uh, chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. The uh, We're actually going to go past this a little bit, but not by much. So uh, pretty much through page about 125 in the text. Uh, you will not need to bring a pencil because we are uh, doing this via Canvas due to... Uh, the poor weather so everything is going to be by canvas this time so the first section will be multiple choice that's the mc part it is timed we'll look at it in a second but to prepare for that you need to go back and take a look at your notes make sure that you've read the chapter and uh, you need to be prepared for that because uh, that is a time test so if you spend uh, all of your time looking up information uh, you're not going to do very well so uh, if you do not have notes, you should have been taking notes throughout the whole class. So uh, you need to make sure that you have read uh, those chapters carefully. After you complete the multiple choice, you move on to uh, the short essay. The identifies is really what they are. And uh, notice what I do. You will write a paragraph or two that completely defines and gives the significance of the important terms we covered in class. Four of these will show up on the exam for you to write. And actually, I've given you a choice. I'll go and take a look at that in a minute. But these are uh, some of the important terms. And you especially want to make sure you know what these things are before you go and do the multiple choice, too. And then finally, the essays. And those are in the essay part. I'm going to go ahead and remind you one last time. Do not plagiarize. Do not copy and paste from the textbook. Do not copy and paste from the Internet. The Turnitin app will get you. It will tell me exactly what source you've used. And if you do that, you're going to get a zero. It's just that simple. So make the work that you submit your own. Okay, let's go to the modules and take a look at each of these. When you click into the multiple choice part of the exam, the timer will begin. So uh, let's take a look at it. So once you click in this, and it tells you, okay, you have, there are 55 questions, time limit 90 minutes. Once you start, you're in there, okay, you get one shot. So make sure your internet is good. Make sure you're somewhere where uh, you have a good computer. If you can go to, uh, once we get back on campus, if you want to take it at one of the campus libraries or one of the uh, campus labs, you can do that. But once you're in, you're in. So you get one shot at it. So make sure that you're ready to go when you click that button. The uh, Back to the modules here. The other part you'll be doing on your own. And of course, you guys should be working on this now if you can. But I'm going to go ahead and pull them up. And that way, at least you can see them. Let's do the identifies first. This will come up, and I notice I say pick four of the following. Write a thorough historical identification using historical facts and discussing the historical significance of the item. Okay. The Separatist Roger Williams, Middle Passage, Great Awakening, uh, French and Indian War, and William Penn. Okay, so uh, make sure that you uh, take a look at those. All right, and uh, come up with a way that you are going to write a paragraph or two that completely identifies this historical term. We'll go back to for a second here. Let's just pick one that's not on the list and talk about how we would do that. Now I'm going to give you an example. So let's go back to our study guide real quick. I'm sorry to be flipping around, but let's go back to our study guide right here. Let's take a look at this list of terms. Let's just pick one real quick. That's not on the list. Okay, well, let's just say... Nah. Let's 
can't remember if the Columbian Exchange was on there or not. Uh, let's just pick no, the separatists are on there. Uh, let's just pick the conquistadors, okay? It's a good topic, okay? So let's just pick this one for a second, okay? The first thing you want to think about is who these people are. These were Spanish military guys who came to the New World after Columbus, and their job was to explore and to conquer. That's where they get their name from. They're the conquistadors. We talked about several, and you would probably ought to give an example or two. There is uh, De Soto, there is Ponce de Leon, there's Balboa, there's Coronado. There, of course, the most important ones are Cortez and Pizarro. Cortez goes on to conquer the Aztecs and Pizarro goes on to conquer the Inca. But they were here to explore the New World and conquer any sort of uh, resistance that they found. And really their job is to find something to send back to Spain uh, for the Spanish crown to make a profit. Okay. So uh, after telling me who they are, telling me, uh, giving me some examples of them, okay, Cortez and Pizarro, you probably should mention conquering the Aztec and the Inca, and then you need to tell me why they're important. Okay. They uh, solidify Spanish control in the New World. They decimate the Native American populations and civilizations through the spread of disease and conquest. They are, uh, you know, they are one of the reasons why the Spanish are able to conquer the New World. They are extremely important, okay? And so that's the kind of line of thinking you need to have. It will take you more than a few words or a few sentences to do that. If you turn in a an ID that only has a few words or a sentence, there's no way that you've covered all of the things that I want you to cover. It's just not going to happen. There's no word count on these or on the essays. You have to answer the question and you have to be complete and thorough. Okay. I'm grading on content. So you got to tell me why, what they are and why they're important. Okay. Last thing real quick. Let's go and take a look at the essays and uh, that'll be it for this. Uh, we go over here and uh, we take a look at the essays. Okay, and that's the last thing. Make sure you pay attention to the uh, uh, lost my words here. Make sure you pay attention to uh, the directions. There we go. And uh, you need to write a complete organized essay answering two of the following. Okay, don't write four. Don't write seven. Okay, two. Okay. And uh, pick from this list right here, okay? Notice, must be in your own words, must answer the question completely, okay? Should be free of plagiarism, should be in your own words. Let's talk about how you're going to answer them. Discuss, describe and discuss the Columbian Exchange, what was being exchanged. You guys wrote a, uh, a discussion board about this, okay? So you should know what the Columbian Exchange is. Okay, what was being exchanged? There are things going from the old world. There are things going from the new world. They're both important. Okay, and assess the impacts this exchange had on both the old and the new worlds. If you don't talk about the impact of disease, if you don't talk about the impacts on Native Americans, if you don't talk about the impacts that disease had on the Native Americans, which changed the labor supply in the new world and led to slavery, if you can't make all of those connections, you're not going to get all the credit. You need to build this essay up towards that. And of course, the impacts on the old world were uh, were important too. New crops, some new diseases as well. So make sure that you uh, analyze all of those things. Next, compare and contrast the settlement of the southern colonies with the settlement of New England. Okay, so compare and contrast similarities and differences. Okay, what was the motivation of colonists? the role religion played in the settlement of the colony, the economics of the region, and life in the colony among the colonists. So you're basically building me a uh, an essay that compares and contrasts similarities and differences between things going on in the southern colonies and things going on in New England. There are plenty of examples for this. Okay, so And you need to kind of go through uh, these four phases in your discussion. The motivation of the colonists, the role religion played, uh, the economics, and life in the colony and among the colonists. 
Third, how did Africans first arrive in the colonies? How did they evolve uh, from the unknown status in which they arrived into slaves? Uh, how did the development of slavery impact the social and economic development of colonial America? I have a lecture up that goes through some of this stuff. It's covered extensively in Chapter 3. Okay, so make sure that you talk about those things. And finally, this is one that we haven't been able to cover in class, but I have put up a lecture about it. And of course, it is in the textbook as well. Discuss the causes, conduct, and consequences of the French and Indian War. What impact did the British victory have on the American colonists, the British themselves, and the French who lost? Pretty easy. Okay. French lose everything, okay, including all of their colonies in North America. The British get everything east of the Mississippi River, which forces them to change what they do with the American colonists after 1763. And the American colonists are sort of caught in the middle. And uh, things are going to go, uh, well, at least in their minds, are going to go bad after this. Okay, So make sure that you have watched that lecture that I put up about the French and Indian War. All right, so uh, those are the three things you need to be working on. Now, because of uh, the weather, this has been pushed back a little bit to uh, next week, okay? So make sure you take a look at the due dates. Okay, they won't be until February 23rd, and hopefully we'll be back on campus by then.